Hey everyone, Adam here with AJT Design. Today we have an instruction video. This is our injection fob case for the Rams. Uh, several models that will fit the 2019 and newer. So here uh, we've got some examples here of some of the fob cases that are compatible. As you can see, we've got everything from the simple um, unlock lock panic button all the way up to this one that has you know several um, additional features. Uh, there's also a fifth one here that's not compatible that looks sort of like this one with the unlock lock and then the, um, I guess it'd be the adjustable ride height air suspension button here and then the panic button there. So uh, we should have you covered if you've got, uh, you know, one of the fobs with the, um, oops, that was no battery, with the LED up there and the panic button right in the middle. Now there are some of these that look really similar that are not compatible. Uh, this one over here, for example, you'd see it looks almost exactly like these from the outside, but you'll notice there's no LED. And also the panic button is off-centered with the RAM logo embossed there. If you have one that looks like this, um, you know, may have different buttons or additional buttons, but with the offset panic button and the no LED, this case is uh, not compatible with our product. Um, looks the same from the outside, you open it up and it's completely different. So unfortunately, these... Um, I think these tend to be, you know, more for the heavy duty models, but um, they're not compatible. Anyways, that's just a little note on compatibility. This is an instruction video, so uh, let's get started. I'll demonstrate how this is done. We are going to demonstrate on this guy here, so I will move those off to the side. So first thing you want to do, remove the key, and I will set this to the side. There is a process to um, remove this portion of the key from this um, uh, this piece here and stick it inside of our fob case. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Oops. So what you want to do is grab a small screwdriver. The first piece we're going to take off is this is this back piece, and there's a couple slots right in here. You can just get under, and this is removed pretty easily. This piece can be discarded. Uh, next, what we want to do is take the battery out. So you want to slide it down. Screwdriver helps out a little bit. Pops out. Save the battery. Next, what we'll need to do is remove some small torque screws. There's going to be six of them in all to get this thing apart. Um, and we do include this screwdriver with the kit. So you don't have to go hunting one of these down. So you just start by taking all six of these out. And these screws are not reused, so if you lose them, it's not a big deal. And under, once we take these little plastic wings off the side, there's going to be two more that'll have to come undone. So with that screw off this piece, comes off, which can be discarded, and you can see going to be another screw under there. There we go. Piece will come out. Two more. Okay, with all the screws out, it's now time to kind of separate these pieces. And there's a couple little tabs that are holding it sort of loosely. There's one here, there's one here. And then um, on the other side, it helps to loosen these up a little bit. 
This one's been apart a few times, so they're not holding as much. Then from there, get your screwdriver in here. Try to remember where the best place is. Oops, maybe not to knock that over. There you go. Let's get at it from the side, it should come right apart. So this piece we're gonna discard as well. I'll throw all these discarded pieces out of the view here. Uh, we are gonna save the circuit board and this rubber gasket in here. Comes out like that. And this piece we also don't need. Okay, so now we've got basically everything part that we need. It's time to start putting the new one together. So first what you want to do is you're going to take the top half and then you're going to select the buttons that match the fob that you have. Most of them you're just going to throw away. Um, don't need all of them. So we'll start off with the unlock button at the top, the lock button right below it, and then this one has the remote start button. And then finally, the panic button. And then the rest of these buttons we're not gonna need for this fob case. So after that goes in, rubber gasket, we're gonna just like that. Then what we'll do is we'll place the circuit board on top of that, make sure it's fully seated, pressed inside, just like that. Now it's time to put the case together. Um, so what you'll do is you'll place the battery plus side down into this half, tilt it up just slightly and put it together. Um, one quick note here, this case, um, it is very similar in design to the fob case we did for the Jeep JL Wrangler a few years ago. And we've had a lot of complaints with that case being difficult to assemble, particularly uh, with the battery. Um, and just a note, this one is actually much, much easier. Um, so. If you have concerns about that, uh, th th that other one can be difficult. It's you know, by no means impossible, but this is way easier. So again, you just want to you know tilt it down at an angle so the battery is up against here, and kind of slide this back in. You're essentially trying to get this little metal clip behind the battery, and it goes together pretty easy. So what you want to do is kind of hold it together. And then you'll take the four supplied Allen screws. There will be an Allen key supplied. It's not as nice as this one I'm using here, but it will get your job done. Again, just kind of be pressed together. With these screws, you want to get them snug, but remember you are going into plastic, so don't over tighten them as tight as you can. Also, don't ever use Loctite or any kind of a thread locker as it will uh, essentially disintegrate the case. So get those snug down. Then what you wanna do, just test it. Make sure all the buttons are functioning properly. Make sure you have used all the correct buttons. So we can see in this case we have. Then the only other uh, step would be, uh, the optional would be to put the key into this little pocket here. Now this is um, this is designed for uh, people who use this key only very, very occasionally. If you use this key all the time, I'd recommend it just keeping it on the knuckle, putting it on your keychain, or perhaps just you know staying with the factory case. This is more of a minimalist approach where we've taken this big knuckle and the mechanism out of there just to simplify it. So if you wanna remove the key from this knuckle, there's a little roll pin in there. And you just need to kind of set this up on a block of wood with a small nail or a punch that will get inside there. And that roll pin, if you have the right size, like I said, either a small nail or a punch, the roll pin will pop right out. And then this key uh, is fairly easy to remove. I'm not going to demonstrate that here today. We do have pre-remove key. So this piece just pops open. He goes inside like that. Oops. Oops, put it in the right way. And that snaps on just like that. 
So that's basically it. It's how to put one of these together. Um, as always, I will have our website below if you'd like to purchase as well as my email if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.